So here we have the hardware pack. Let's just empty out the contents so we can see what we've got. We have these two plastic bungs here. They go in the end of the long piece of the lower handle. So they go in there just like that. Then we've got the bolts, washers, two nuts and the wing nuts that hold the upper handle onto the lower handle. These nuts have got to go in the hexagon in here and how I usually do that is just put them on a tiny bit of the thread and push them in like that. So there we have our nuts inside the wing nuts. Got what we call, oops, got what we call a cable tidy, goes on the lower handles later. Now we've got these two small screws and two fine washers. The little screws locate in these holes here in the lower handle. We insert the lower handle in here, push it right down, and we'll see a slot down here where we will be able to see where these screws locate through here. One little tip I like to use here is I usually put some penetrating oil around here to act as a very fine lubrication. It helps me to get the handle to slot home comfortably. So the handle we're going to push in here. And as we can see here, I haven't quite reached the bottom of the slot. This can require a little bit more of a robust push. As we can see here, we've now got the handle to the bottom of the slot and if I rotate the handle a little bit we can see the location for the screw to go in right there. For the screwdriver we need to screw the screw firmly home so that's retained the handle properly. We're going to attach the upper handle onto the lower handles now. We'll see we have a square through the handle here, which will correspond with the square on the top of the mushroom headed bolt. It's important to make sure that the cables are not tangled with the upper or lower handle. The bolt goes through the square here, through the lower handle. Then we need the washer and the wing nut, and then the cable tidy. We take the cables down to the bottom of the machine here and simply clip the cable tidy over both cables and around the handle. So that keeps the cables neatly out of the way. So we're going to deal with the assembly of the grass collector. We take the frame and it goes inside the bag all the way up, making sure, of course, that we've got the handle outside of the bag. I find it easier to attach the corner ones first, make sure that's nicely in place, then the middle one adjacent to the handle, make sure that one's nicely in place, and then this corner one here, we need to revolve it right over so that we can thread it through like that, I find it then easier to do the bottom one. Same process, feed it over all the way along, clip it into place, make sure it's all nicely in place. Then we can do the side ones. There we have the assembled grass collector for the HP and SP164. The Mountfield HP and SP164 models can rear discharge the grass simply by leaving the grass deflector down, you can mow and blow the grass onto the floor. If you're wanting to collect the grass, the grass collector fits on these two lugs here and simply attaches like that. To adjust the height of cut, Simply on the levers on the front wheels, just move them like that, one each side. 
and at the back of the machine one does both wheels. The engine uses SAE30 mineral oil. We recommend Mountfield Universal Lawnmower Engine Oil. The number on it is Mountfield MX855. Requires 0.4 of a litre and you've got the measurements on the back. And the oil goes in here. Unscrew the filler cap which has a small dipstick on the end of it. The engine uses standard unleaded fuel which goes in the fuel tank just here. In standard unleaded petrol we recommend that you use fuel stabiliser. This keeps the fuel fresh all the way through the year and will reduce service costs and will help starting. All we need to do is simply pour the full contents of these one-shot bottles straight in five litres of unleaded petrol, agitate the fuel about so it's mixed in. We can add the fuel in here, being careful not to overfill the tank. We're ready for the last part of the assembly. We need to attach the recoil rope into its keeper on the side of the handle. And to do this, we have to pull the operator presence control lever like that up to the handles. This takes the brake off the engine. And now I can pull the rope up to here and put it inside the keeper and tighten the nut on this side with a 10 mil spanner. The Mountfield models HP and SP164 feature a primer carburetor. It's a fixed speed engine, so there's no engine throttle and there's no manual choke. So to prime the engine, we simply push the red button here. Now it says on the top of the carburetor here to press it three times. When the mower's brand new, a tip is to press this 10, 15 times. Go to the rope to go through the start procedure. If it doesn't start, come back and give this half a dozen more. What we're doing is purging the carburetor of any air. Now we're ready to start the mower. First we need to take this lever here, pull it back to the handle. This is the OPC or operator control lever. This takes the engine brake off the engine. Holding this in place, take the recoil rope firmly in your hand, just pull it slowly till we feel the bite point and then a swift long pull will have the mower running. On an HP model, once we've started the machine, we keep hold of the OPC lever and simply push and walk behind the machine to cut the grass. The SP model has a second bail arm here, which when we pull it up to the handle there, it engages the drive, so we just walk along with the machine. Service Link is Mountfield's own service centre and there is a helpline number here. If you have any difficulties with your machine, give the call centre a call. They will either resolve it over the phone or refer you to one of our over 600 Service Link dealers throughout the UK and Ireland.